Let's hope it sticks up here, because if it don't, I'm doomed. Ooh, speed, I love a bit of speed. So you're joining me in my car, I'm not in a bus. Uh, the reason I'm in my car is because today I have been invited to a Lado's birthday party. It's called Harvey, so I want to say thank you ever so much, Harvey, for the invite to your birthday party. I don't really do videos like this in my car, because I'm a bus driver, but I do have a car. <laughs> And I do spend more time in my car than on a bus most days. So what's new with me? Uh, the first thing being, this is a completely different car to the other videos I've been filming in. Uh, I had a Chrysler Voyager, because it had a big car, family car, fitted everything in. And it suddenly decided that it doesn't like oil and that it was going to be my mechanic's best friend. So me and my other half decided to get a new car. So we've gone for a C-Max. We've had a Ford Focus before, and we absolutely loved it. And then when it came to getting a new car, the first thing I said was, I want to Focus. I want to Focus, because it was the best car we've ever had. Uh, it had its problems, obviously, most all second-hand cars do, really, don't they? And if all cars were built to last, no one would get rid of them. So, no, we, we decided to get another Focus. And we looked around, and we found this Focus C-Max, and we're like, wow great space, room for kids and room for lugging stuff about. Like when I had the Beamer, it was a pain in the ass. We went to Ikea and we decided, we literally went to Ikea for a clothes rail and come back with a car full, spending 500 quid. We got man drawers, cabinets, everything you could think of, we ended up buying. And the Beamer was horrendous. We only had as oldest boy at the time so we could use we the space with all the bags and boxes on it and oh what a pain but no having a bigger car is a lot easier and i wish i did it sooner but no that that's new with me apart from that what else is new um i've got a new uniform at work which is great because i've i've only had one one issue with uniform and that when i worked at honley saying that i've just drove past honley at old depot so I've got a new uniform, which I'm putting. I'm hoping to get a video up of bus drivers' uniforms very soon. Uh, but no, I've got a new uniform. I'm on late rotor now, so I don't really do any earlies. I don't do any earlies. I'm on the late rotor. I've just been in today and sorted all my holidays out. Uh, for some reason, when I left Tiger the first time, I had I overtook holidays, so they billed me. Well, when I left, they took it off my wage. So I owed them four days, which is guttering, because when you leave, you want to have most, more money. And they took four days holiday off it, because I, I overtook it. But when, when I come back, I was given like two weeks to take. And I've not taken that much. So it was a case of, I went in today and I've got all my holidays for the rest of this year, booked and sorted. So holidays run from April to April. So I did manage to get the rest in for this year, well, which is good because I'm not. If you do, if you don't lose, if you don't use them, you lose them. And I didn't want to pretty. I didn't want to particularly lose. I can't. I, can't, blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to particularly lose nine days holiday. So and they're really good at our depot. They are. If you if you want a day off for a holiday, they will do the utmost to make sure you have it off. So it's a really. I've worked when I worked at Stagecoach. They gave you the holidays. You said you can't change them unless you swap. Or unless you got a valid reason to have it off. And when I worked at Stagecoach, I went, right, I've booked an holiday. They told them what days. No, you can't have it off, you're not on that block. I, why not? And I went, oh, well, because you need to sort it out yourself. So look, I've, I've booked, paid it. There's, there's that saying in there, booked it, packed it, off. So genuinely, I said to them, I booked it, packed it, and I'm, and I'm going. So they did sort it in the end. But I've not had any problems at Tiger. I said, I need this off, I need that off. And they go, yep, no worries, looked in direct, that's possible. Yep, sound. So I've been really lucky with the days I want off. Uh, apart from that, nothing else has really changed that much. Uh, biggest thing for me with car, like everything comes at the worst time and literally the week we paid as holiday is the week the car decided it wanted to die. So we've just skinted itself paying for his holiday and then literally, boom, the car decides to break. Fantastic, absolutely brilliant. 
but hey oh, that's life, it kicks you when you're down, but you just gotta get back up. So these past few weeks for me have been absolutely horrendous. <laughs> absolutely horrendous. So what have you guys been up to? I hope your guys' past few weeks have been better than mine. I really do. So what have you been up to? Uh, comment in the section below and I will reply as much as I can. If you haven't already seen, I've got Instagram. It's just at the flat cat bus driver. So have a check on there. I try and post as much as I can on there with like pictures of my life and good job and whatnot and it's just nice for me to interact with you guys. I'm, I'm in home Firth Town Centre right now going to pick the children up and have tea. <laughs> so mainly tea. Children just come with it. <laughs> no I'm only joking. It's definitely the children first. Video is a really really short one just to say I hope everyone's well and I hope everyone's alright. I don't get the chance sometimes to speak like this because I don't get the time and the, these past few nights I have been filming the cab confessions but when I'm playing them back they are too dark they're too dark and literally you might as well close your eyes and just hear my voice it might as well be a, be a podcast it might as well be a podcast so I've kind of get it I've, I've knocked literally six videos on chin because I just don't think they're any good and as much as people like hearing what I talk about, not seeing my face, I think it's a bit unfair. Just a pitch black screen. But I am trying to get a lot more of these talking videos out. Um, thank you everyone so much for the comments on the Optair video. Uh, that, well, that, uh, that one for me was... Uh, that, that video took a lot of time and effort. And I want to big up one particular YouTuber, and that's that Yorkshire bus driver. Because whenever I decide to do something, or do something silly, he decides, to, he, he's always there. I, always, I just got, I've just got to phone him up. Sean, I'm doing this. What are you doing on Wednesday? I'm working, why? Can you get it off? Probably, get it off, I'll, I'll tell you later on. And he, he's more than happy to help. If you haven't already seen the other Sean, check in the description. He's linked to his channels there. He's got great material. Uh, apart from that, Gen on about Sean, he's literally, he's, he's been with me today. We've, we've got some drone footage at uh, Waterloo Depot. So that'll be going up shortly, into a little video. So he's literally, genuinely always here to, to gain helping hand, and, 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 and I can't thank him enough, really. I don't get people who drive 20 mile an hour all over. Speed! No, I don't, when people drive in like a 40s or a 20s, it's like, what, why? Why do you do this to me? You, you delayed me by 50%. But no, the Optair video was a really, really tricky video. We had three cameras. There were like three hours worth of footage to sift through. There was an interview which didn't go very well because the audio was horrendous. I think I need, I think my video is getting a lot better, but the audio quality needs to improve. Because I do, I, I am hoping to do more documentary type videos. So whether that's getting a voiceover mic or something like that and add it in and adding the voice in after, or whether I buy like a road mic for my iPhone. I don't know, I'm in two minds. I'm in two minds. If anyone knows any suggestions of decent microphones, please feel free to drop me a link. Uh, but I'm not minted. There's no point sending me a microphone at a hundred pound going, oh it's a fantastic mic, it's fantastic, it's amazing. I've genuinely got the smallest budget. Because I don't make any money really off anything I've just, I've just got my wage and there's just there's just my wage and I've got I've got two children and a house so having equipment is really it's an expense that I haven't got the budget for I hope one day I'm, I'm able to earn enough money through um, monetization to actually have really good equipment but I don't think that's anytime soon but I will still do my best to get as much videos as I can to the quality that I'm getting them at. Because when I watch YouTubers, I think, wow, that's so good, how do I do that? And I, I just learning, it's just loads of learning involved. And it's just time, and I'm really struggling for time at the minute. But as always, I want to thank every single subscriber and for people who watch the videos for actually watching my boring old face. I can't thank, I honestly cannot thank people enough because without you guys subscribing, this wouldn't be possible. The reason why I'm able to be so nosy in places is because of you guys. 
because of the following you guys are giving me it's, it's, it's enabling me to go to different places and do different things and it means so much when people come up to me I was in McDonald's drive through and someone said uh, so a person was serving me are you fat cat I'm like yeah <laughs> he's like I watch you all the time I'm like oh thank you mate do I get a free drink and he's like no and I'm like cheers so you know what I mean if I got a free drink off McDonald's I'd, I'd be buzzing I'd be like eh? celebrity status <laughs> McDonald's gold card <laughs> but I best wrap this up now because I'm near enough here but as always thank you so much for liking sharing subscribing and also now follow me on Instagram it is the best way to get in contact with me and see what I do behind the scenes so at the flat cat bus driver don't forget to send me a message what is that that's amazing don't forget to send me a message and let me know you're here uh, as always thank you all so much for, for the for the views and the content it means the world have a lovely safe weekend and have a fantastic start to the week and i will see you all very very soon take care